Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish a look at the unplugged version of Nutshell by Alice in Chains. So this is uh, Jerry Cantrell's, I guess, outro solo. It's really his main solo because it's really more extended. Uh, but we do have a couple things that we already did in the first solo here. So we're still tuned down a half step here. Uh, so make sure you're in that tuning and hopefully you've looked at the first lesson, got all the chords down in that first solo. So let's take a look at this one. Now, we're going to start this solo the same way we did the other one with a, that little melodic line. But there's no little lick after that. He just waits, he holds this note, and then goes right into the other arpeggio. So you've already seen both of those, and then he repeats them. Once again, with nothing in between them. So that much of the solo you should already know because it occurs in the first solo. All right, from there we have this. All right, so it's really cool. We're at the, we're at the uh, fourth fret there on the G string. You're going to play that note. You can rake into it if you want, but it's a bend and release, half step, bend and release. And then over to the uh, fifth fret on the D, and then I'm sorry, do a half step bend and release there at the fourth fret on the D as well. So it does one more time. Then you pick the fifth fret on the A string, and then pick it again, slide it to seven, and then slide that seven down to three. Now when you get to the third fret there, you're gonna add the second fret on the D string and play this C major 7th chord. You're going to be strumming that while adding that 3rd fret every once in a while and letting back go to the open B string. Alright, so, so far. And this little ending uh, phrase that's hammering five to seven on the A, then picking seven again over to five on the D, and then playing five seven again on the A string. And when you hit that last seven, you hit the low E string open with it. Then you do the exact same phrase again. Except this time, sometimes he'll keep his third finger down. This the, he, he does it like just plays it and lifts, but the second time he puts it down, he kind of holds it a little bit longer. You've seen that chord in the ver in the uh, chords to this song, and then we have the same ending. So it's pretty close to just to being the same part repeated twice. All right, and from there, we st he starts kind of branching out. This uh, first part looks like this. All right, so that moves around a little bit. So we're gonna start here, five, seven on the uh, A string, then five, seven on the D, and when you play that 7, slide it up to 9. Then play 7, 9 on the G. From there, you can replace that 3rd finger with the ninth fret um, with your 2nd finger, your middle finger. And play 9 on the G, 8 on the B, twice. Alright, from there, you're going to do a pulse that bend at the 10th fret on the B, and while you're doing that, you're going to grab 10 on the high E. So, so it, all right, from there, you'll 8, 10, 8 on the B, 7, 8, 7, and then 9, 7, 9, 7 on the G.
All right, from there. From there, we're gonna go. That's just doing seven, nine, seven again. Then seven, eight, nine on the D string, back down to eight and seven. And then shift down to the fifth fret. Right there on the D. So we have this from here. I'm going to end this phrase by going, which is 7 5 on the D string done twice, over to 7 on the A string. So we have this all together for that. And now we're going to do another phrase that looks like this. Alright, so we're going to ascend to that new section the same way we did before. That's a little 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, slide up to 9, 7, 9 on the G. Then you can hit this 9 a couple of times. And then you're going to go 7, 8, 10, on the B string. You can leave this finger here. So 7, 8, 10, back down to 8, and then 9. And you can kind of pick across these two strings. So we have this. See, I'm letting them both ring together. 7, 8, 10, 8, 7, and then play 9 with it on the G. Then pick the B string again, hammer 7 to 8, back down to 7, and pick the 9. Alright, then 7, 3 times, 9, back to 7 on the G. Now we're over to the D string. Pick the ninth fret a few times. And that's seven, nine, seven. Shift down to the fifth fret on the D, and then seven, five. And then back to seven, and that slow bend that ends the solo. All right, so let me play that last section for you real quick. Here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.